Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more of the Long Dark Wintermute. So, we're on a side quest. We found a body murdered on the ice near Mystery Lake. We then found uh, a person who was hiding out and, uh, hiding out and, words, hiding out inside one of the cabins and asked us to go get their gear for them. Because they didn't trust us. They didn't want to come out. They didn't want to go do it themselves. They were afraid of whoever's killed their buddy. Um, is that the old bear body? The old bear's body's still here. Damn. Okay. Well, that actually might be something else to do, because we can get some meat from him on the way back. So we've got to go up to the dam and find some documents that are hidden in there. Um, apparently these documents are going to, like, blow the case wide open and save the environment. Um, the person doesn't seem to have really kind of got the idea that the, uh, the apocalypse has happened and that no one has any electricity anymore, and really people aren't going to be a problem damaging the environment. But anyway, um, we're going to go get the documents, and they are... Well, actually, I don't know. Why are we getting the documents? What are they going to do for us? They kind of said, you know, if you care about the environment, you'll do this for me. And honestly, I don't really care about the environment that much. Or, you know, in the game, I don't care about the environment that much, given everything I just said. What's that up there? That container? It might just be the edge of the rock. I, th I think it's just the edge of the rock. Okay. I thought it might be a container, and I got distracted, and I was saying stuff. Anyway, we're going to go get these documents. He's going to be really happy for them. They're going to be really happy for them. We don't actually know if it's a guy or a girl in there. It wasn't voice acted, unfortunately. But, yeah. And then, actually, on the way back, we could grab some more bear meat, because I think there's still about 20 kilos of bear meat on the corpse of the old bear. I kind of didn't realise he was actually going to still be there, so that's pretty awesome. They do hang around for a while. So we could grab some more bear meat and take that back with us. We just have to watch out for wolves, but it might be doable. You know, we could probably manage that. We did it before. I mean, we carried back his ear, his pelt, and 10 kilos of meat last time. So I think that might be doable. But first things first is get up to the dam and check stuff out. Now, I am a bit worried that if we're going to go up to the dam, that might trigger the next Aurora phase. And I don't want to be trying to you know, get back home or carrying tons of meat around during an Aurora. Because obviously the wolves will be after us, guaranteed. Auroras do not mess around when it comes to pissing off the wolves. So they will get all aggro up on our bums. But we should be okay. Now, are there any wolves around here? We're coming up on the bridge. I think I can hear barking, but that actually might be my next door neighbor's puppy. They, my next door neighbors have got some kind of. Uh, I don't know. It's a big dog. It's a big brown puppy. Um, and it's very excitable, so it's barking a lot. Um, it is adorable, though, and I'm, I'm very glad to say it's, it's always so happy to see people. Uh, but it, that just largely means it's going to bark at them because it's so happy. It, it's one of those dogs that just barks a lot when it's happy to see you. Um, or when it goes outside, or when it sees the sun, or when it wakes up. You know, it's one of those kind of dogs. But and this is a, this is a neighbor I have an attaching wall to. This is a neighbor, like the next block of houses over. I can still hear it. It's like I said, it's a big puppy, uh, but it is adorable. It's called Molly, and I love it. So I don't know if it's Molly barking or if it's wolves. Is what I was trying to say there, fuck. I saw you. Oh, why are you not aggroing me? Shit! Okay, well that was bad. Puncture, 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 puncture. Damn it, another sprained wrist. Get off. Okay, that's fine, we're not bleeding, we've got a sprained wrist, we can deal with that. I completely missed with the blimmin' flare. Give me that. Wait, no, don't you. Okay, that's fine. No, okay, fine. I was like, I thought I saw a wolf, and then I wasn't sure, because... Well, because he got really close without actually attacking me. Uh, you know what? Close the door. Well, actually, I probably should check that there's nothing in here before I lock myself in, but okay. At least I can keep that wolf out. And it is dark inside the dam, so a flare wouldn't be too bad. Okay, yeah, I think this area is clear. I can't see anything in here. I just had a quick mental image of locking that door, turning around and finding I've just locked myself in with a bear or something. 
But it's fine. Okay, we, got, we took some minor injuries. We've got a little bit of clothing damage. That's fine. We've got plenty of cloth. We've got plenty of sewing kits. Um, anything made of leather is going to be a bit more problematic, but we'll be okay. I mean, actually, didn't we leave a part of clothing here last time? We found a lot of stuff here last time, and we weren't able to use half of it. I have a feeling like I left a bunch of clothing in the entrance or something. Oh, okay, there we go. Man, I, I did leave a bunch of stuff, including some water. Yeah. Weird, why would I leave water behind? Uh, and a pry bar. Okay, that's always handy. Now, we have been through here before, and I was fairly thorough, I think, last time. Is that actually... Oh! Better apparently not that thorough, because I missed an entire cup of coffee. Um, sure, drink it. Gives me a bit of energy. It's a cold cup of coffee, so we don't want to get warming up, but I will get reduced fatigue, which is nice. Um, we've done all these, haven't we? Yeah. We were we were pretty far apart from immediately missing a cup of coffee. I feel like we were fairly far coming in here. Um, now, are there actually there? Is there anywhere to sleep here? I can't remember if there was actually a room to sleep in or anything. Kind of, and now that I'm back here, I kind of want to just double check stuff that I, you know, make sure I didn't miss anything. But I feel like we were pretty far. And there's an empty storm lantern. I think we used you up completely. Yeah, you've got nothing in here. Luckily, we found another one to bring with us. Otherwise, we would have, you know, had a bit of trouble. Uh, now they said it was down towards admin that we were meant to be looking for. Is, was there actually a bed here? I don't have a bedroll with me, so. I don't know if we could actually spend the night here and actually heal up our sprained wrist that way. I'd rather not. I'd rather not have to use up more meds again. But I can't remember if there was a bed. I feel like there might have been a bed here, but I might be thinking of somewhere else. Control room we can't get into. We've got to wait for the Aurora for that, because then the, the power will come back on and the keypad will work again. That's the elevator, obviously that ain't going to work. Now we've got desks. Yeah, I don't know if I can sleep here. What's the temperature feel like? Yeah, it does temperature does feel okay. I shouldn't get too cold in here, but there's... I don't know if I can actively sleep if I don't actually have a bed. Turbine room. No, we've been down that way before. I don't want to go down that way. It's creepy down there, I'll be honest. Um, okay, admin offices were... Did we actually check out the other floors? I can't remember, because we found so much stuff on the first couple of floors that I can't remember how far I actually got in exploring this place. Okay, we did come to the aid station, because we had to get Jeremiah's meds. What's up here? Does this go anywhere? No, that's... Okay, can't go through there, that's fine. I think what we're looking for is actually down... But I'm trying to remember if the med station maybe had a bed? Or if I left a bedroll here? I don't often go around with bedrolls on me, so... I thought we'd slept here or something. No, I might just be completely imagining stuff. Definitely looted this place thoroughly. Okay, flare's about to go out. That's fine, the flare, the flare did a decent amount of duty. Yeah, I did all those draws as well. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We've got the storm lantern, so if we do need more light, we can open that up. So, let's go down here. Right, that's the main floor we came in off. Uh, get rid of the empty flare, I don't need it. You can't do anything else with dead flares. Um, and he said it was under, down at the bottom, underneath a loose floor tile or something? Assuming I can find it in the dark. That's a pallet. Aha! Forest talking documents. Documents found by the forest talkers. They think they are important to their cause. Their cause which may or may not matter anymore depending on the event of the apocalypse. We have finally found the evidence we've been looking for. All the photos of logging we shared on social media have been totally ignored. And I mean, who can blame them? Nobody believes what they see anymore. 
but we stole some documents from a logging camp that prove that Brea House is here illegally. Like, they don't actually have the correct permits or even permission to be here. And they're cutting down old growth trees out there. It's exactly the kind of ammunition we need to take them down. Even if the lawyers and corporate shields try to bury this, and they will, we'll be able to use this to drive up our recruitment, as well as cash for our crowdfund crowdfunding efforts campaigns. With this, we could finally take things up to the next level. Quote. Okay, um, sure. There you are. So we need to take that back to the person who's camped in. Yeah. Okay. I uh, hopefully they're gonna give us something like this. Considering I got mauled by wolves while trying to get their stuff. So I mean we could spend the night here or I could try and get back to the cabins. It depends what that wolf is doing on the way back out. Um if there's nothing else here and there's nowhere to stay, I think we need to try and get back to the cabins. We probably can't make it all the way back home tonight, but we should be okay to get through to morning. Um, I picked up that water we left it in. Am anything else I need from here? That's just part of the tap. Okay. So, let's check out our medical condition. We do have a sprained wrist from a wolf bite. Um, rose hip tea or painkillers would do the job. I've got six painkillers on me. I just don't want to use them, I'll be honest. Um, did any of our gear take a lot of damage? I think, hopefully not. Wolf, wolf attacks don't do a huge amount of damage for clothing. Damn it, no, the rabbit skin mitts got torn up again. Man, those things require leather to repair, and I just never have enough leather. Although, trail boots can be broken down for leather, so that's actually not bad. And, ooh. Ooh, actually, what the running shoes break down to? If I could take these shoes back with me and break them down for leather, that would be handy. If I break you down, harvest two leather, yep. And harvest... Okay, so that's two, three, four pits, bits, of, bits of leather to help me repair stuff. That's actually, okay, that's actually good. That's actually worthwhile. Okay, let's try and get out of here. Hopefully that wolf is kind of, you know, pissed off. We did stab it a lot. I mean, there's a chance that wolf has gone off and died, to be fair. Birds? No flying birds. Okay. Not circling a corpse birds, I don't think. Although saying that, I... No, there they go. I was going to say saying that, I can't actually see them, but no, there they go. Alright. Where are you, Mr. or Mrs. Wolf? Where be ye? Can I see ya? On the other side of the gate before I have to step out of here. Problem is, you were, right, oh, you were kind of patrolling just on the other side of that rise. Which was a little bit too close for comfort, because if I step out this gate, you might already aggro. Trying to swing wide so I can get a look at it before... You know, anything decides to try and eat my face. Okay, no, we're good. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, uh, is that the same wolf or a different wolf? I don't know. Let's not find out. Move, move, move. Thank God I don't have any meat on me. I was going to say I might double check these cabins, but you know what? Let's not. Let's just, let's just not. Um, I don't know where that, that's, well, that might be the wolf we attacked. It might not be. I don't know. Ooh. No, speak of the devil. Now we've got bird sign in front of us. That might be the wolf we killed. Hmm. I mean, a bunch of fresh wolf meat's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, we're already thinking of carrying bear meat back with us. But I think bear meat's better than wolf meat. I would, I would assume bear meat is kind of heartier than wolf meat. That's the wolf that attacked us. Sorry, buddy. 3.6 kilos of meat. I mean, if there's still a full bear, I want the bear meat rather than the wolf meat. So I'm going to leave that. At least we didn't spend a bullet on it. We just lost a bit of health and clothing and stabbed it a bunch. But that kind of stuff I can actually trade for pretty well. 
I, I can repair everything that got damaged. That's not a problem. Until we run out of cloth. It is possible to exhaust all the supplies of cloth on a map. At which point, yeah, that would really start to suck. But I think we're okay. And further down here, we do have the old bear's carcass. Now, walking along the train tracks to get here, we did have... We were entire, We didn't see a single wolf the entire way. So, if we do take a bunch of meat with us, we should be able to get back uncontested. I would probably go back the, along the train tracks rather than try and cr go cross-country. Because it feels like that would be safer. But if we spend... I mean, if we spend the night, things might move around a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think I think we'll do that. So let's get back up to these cabins. We're going to spend the night. Um, in the morning, we harvest a bunch of bear meat. Follow the train tracks home. Go see Jeremiah. Um, we will definitely drop off the meat before we we'll go back to Jeremiah's. Drop off the meat and all the gear we picked up on this trip, and then we'll head off to go see the forest talker person again. All right, there's the old bear's cor 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 corpse car carcass. I suppose corpse or carcass, I don't know which one's more correct. I suppose they're both accurate. I suppose you generally say animal carcass, don't you? Not animal corpse. I don't know, that's a weird tangent to go on. Um, we will grab that in the morning though, hopefully it doesn't like disappear overnight. I don't know how long corpses stay around for, if that's gone in the morning I will be a bit sad. But we'll go back to Jeremiah's, drop the meat and stuff off. Um, I think we've got enough food for the morning. Yeah, I can have some cold tomato soup. It, you know, not great. And you can normally warm up tomato soup, which will give you, uh, you know, a warming up benefit. But we don't have any means of starting a fire. Unless there is a, is there a fire in here? Could I start a fire specifically just to start, just to cook up some tomato soup? I could. And I do have firewood and accelerant and matches. And there's tons of branches around. Okay, we could actually warm... Yeah, we could actually do that with some some nice warm tomato soup for breakfast. But I think for now, we're just going to go grab one of these cabins and go to bed. So, let's get inside. Oh, and there's some reclaimed wood as well. Yeah, we can definitely start a fire and cook up some tomato soup in the morning. That looks like blood. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, now we've, got, now we've got way too much fire. It's fine. We'll be fine. Is there anything I can break down in here for cloth? Um, nine minutes, two cloth. Yeah. Like I said, we do need to do a bunch of repair work, so I might actually do that now. Just checking that corner for bullets. Uh, are there any more pillows? No, that's part of the bed. Uh, the old bedroll. Six cloth, 27 minutes. Sure. I mean, we're just going to take all this stuff back to Jeremiah's. And if we go to bed now, it's going to be a, you know, while we've still got a bit of daylight, we actually want to get some stuff done. I and mean, if we go to bed too early, we'll wake up too early and it'll be way too cold outside. So let's use the last of the light we've got here. And let's see, what, what repair work needs doing? You're the worst off. If I could strip you down. One hour, 15 minutes. I don't think we've got the light for that. That might be a thing to do in the morning and then repair that before we head off. So straight away, let's just repair that for 25 minutes, because we should have enough light left. I just don't think we've got an hour, an hour of light left. Yeah, that's it's getting pretty damn dark. Uh, what time is it? Eh, probably about time to go to bed. Can I get maybe one more piece of clothing repaired? We got anything else that's... Uh, oh, our new sweater. That was actually only... Yeah, that's actually probably worth repairing. 51 minutes. Damn. Okay, maybe not. Um... You maybe? 25 minutes? This is a gamble. This might fail because we don't have enough light, but I'm going to give it a go. Cool. That was just about perfect. Right. I'm going to take a break here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. Uh, next episode, we're going to grab some meat from the old bear. We're going to head back to Jeremiah's, and then we're going to talk to the forest walker, talker, person. Bye.